A friend of mine called to ask me how you add a file to a Fiverr project from Dropbox. And it's quite simple actually, so I'm going to go ahead and set up an order for a Fiverr project. This is Transcription. I love this guy. Um, he does a great job with Transcription. I'll give him a free plug here. It's Weeks020. He does a great job of transcriptions on Fiverr. By the way, if you're not using Fiverr, you really should. So I'm going to go ahead and order this again. Yes, I'll reorder. I have ordered. It's going to come back here and say my order is still in the oven with here. But if I go to my shopping tab, and there it is, I've got the one that's missing details. So I will go into here, into the project that I, or the Fiverr project that I've got somebody working on for me. And what you can do to any Fiverr project, you just attach a file right here. Or, you know, with this case, if I wanted to have a YouTube video transcribed, I would just put the YouTube link in here. But for whatever project you're working on, so let's say you wanted to attach a file out of Dropbox, you just click that Attach Files button. And then in my case, I'm going to go into my Dropbox folder. And I've got a couple of different folders here. Let's just say I had something in the Music of Massage site that I want to transcribe. And let's just say one of these is an audio file that I want to transcribe an audio from. That's actually just a music file. But let's say it was actually an audio transcription that I wanted. So I just upload or attach the file right to this project. I, my max size that I can upload is 30 meg. So uh, if I was looking for something larger than that, I would need to attach a link to the Dropbox folder and make a Dropbox folder public. And I'll just save it as Fiverr gig. And inside of Fiverr gig, I will put whatever file I want to have shared. So I'll just grab something, grab that same audio file. I'm going to put it inside of Fiverr gig and put it in here. Now, if I want to share the folder, what I need to do is go back to the folder itself, right click on the folder and go share this folder. That's going to take me to Dropbox where I can share it with an individual email address for someone. So if you have the email address, you can just put the email address in here and it will share the folder with that particular email address. But let's say you just want to make it a publicly downloadable folder where somebody can download from the folder. So from here I'm inside of the folder, but what I want to do is actually share the folder. So I'm going to go back to Dropbox here, I'm going to right click on my Fiverr gig folder, and then I'm going to share the link. I'm going to click on get link. Now that link has been copied to my clipboard. So now I'm going to go back to my Fiverr project. In my Fiverr project, I'm going to paste the link to that particular Dropbox folder. And then I'm just going to hit send. And that will give this person who's working with me on Fiverr the ability to grab the file from this particular folder. I will show you that that works by opening a new tab here. And I'll paste that link into the web address. Yes, I am using Internet Explorer for this video. I know it's a travesty. There is the folder that I have shared with the file for this person to be able to download. And that is how you make a Dropbox folder public to share with someone who is working with you on Fiverr. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe as we have more helpful videos almost every single day. If you have any questions that we can answer for you, please be sure to come and visit us at showmehowtodothis.com.